Paul Barkers with our Chicago Sun-Times Bears breakdown of the Bears' 27-20 victory over the Green Bay Packers. And, you know, you look at this football game, it was arguably the Bears' best performance of the season, or at least their most complete performance of the season, playing very well on offense and playing well enough on defense. From the defensive side, you're still concerned about that run defense, but it wasn't enough to cost the Bears a football game because the defensive line showed up. The pass rush was there. Five sacks of Packer quarterbacks after having just nine all year in their first seven games. That was the difference on the defensive side of the ball. But the story of the game had to be the offense for the Bears. The way that Josh McCown stepped in and played for Jay Cutler. It eliminated a lot of worries about how long Cutler might be out with this groin injury. It also showed something we think we already knew, but it proved it. Matt Forte is the guy on that offense the Bears can't afford to lose, not Jay Cutler. Now we talk about turning points in the Bears game every week, but I think you got to argue there were two turning points in this game. The first one came on the seventh play of the game when Shane McClellan sacked Aaron Rodgers and fractured his left collarbone. That brought in Seneca Wallace, and no offense, Mr. Wallace, but it pretty much ended the Packers' chances of winning the football game. They were not prepared to go without Aaron Rodgers. Wallace was ineffective, and it certainly benefited the Bears that they didn't have to beat Aaron Rodgers. But don't take anything away from the Bears. They deserve to win this game. It's not just about the injury. Our second turning point, with almost nine minutes left in the ball game, fourth and inches at his own 32-yard line. Mark Tressman surprised pretty much everybody at Lambeau Field, maybe everybody in the national TV audience when they went for it. And Matt Forte had arguably his best run of the season. A.J. Hawk, the Packers inside linebacker, actually blew the play up. They were very close to a three-yard loss, and that might have been the difference in the game. But Forte got a round hawk. He added three yards. The rest is history as the Bears put together almost a nine-minute drive, kept the ball until there was 53 seconds left in the game, and added the field goal that assured them no worse than a tie. Of course, it turned out to be a 27-20 victory. The surprise player of the game, I'm not surprised by Josh McCown. I had a feeling that he was going to be just fine. He's not Jay Cutler. There's no controversy. Cutler is still the better quarterback, but that Josh McCown was near perfect in the game, that has to surprise at least a few people. And as far as the takeaways from the game, it stays with Josh McCown. Jay Cutler should not be returning for the Chicago Bears against the Lions or anybody else until he's 100% healthy. We learned that they've got plenty of depth on the offensive side. Now, the other takeaway, the run defense is still a huge concern. And as impressed as you have to be with those five sacks, a couple of those McClellan sacks had a little gift wrapping on them. The defensive line has got to prove they can do this several weeks in a row, and they've got to get better against the run. But the most important part, a three-way tie for first place in the NFC North, and the Bears are a part of it. That's the great news, and that's our Chicago Sun-Times Bears breakdown for the Bears' 27-20 victory over the Green Bay Packers.